What's up y'all? Alvin here. Uh, I am out on a stretch of river that I have not been on for months. <laughs> Thinking about doing some fishing down here and I thought uh, before I just came out here and ran it blind, I should come out, see what the lines are like, see if there's any new gravel bars or if there are any trees down, see what the water quality is. You know, just kind of some of the stuff we do in between guiding. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> Normally, I would try to get somebody to come out with me so we could take turns rowing and fishing, but uh, it's a solo mission today. <laughs> One of the things that I usually try to remind myself of on these solo missions is to not get frustrated, especially on a day like today. It's kind of windy, the boat's gonna be blowing around, and obviously when I'm casting and fishing, I will not be able to control the boat. And sometimes that can be a little bit frustrating. I don't have a trolling motor on this rig because like I said, most of the time, there's at least two people in the boat, always with one who can row. <laughs> It's great when there's three people that can row because everybody gets to fish two thirds of the time. Anyhow, uh, cicadas, but not those brood X cicadas. We have these every summer. This is basically the sound of summer in Texas. I remember this ever since I was a little kid. See if I can get up river without any trouble and see if I can catch a couple of fish. All right, so I brought uh, two rods, both six weights, both H3s. One of them, I've got a floating line and a small Crelex. And the other one, I've got a 15 foot sink tip with, uh, with a big old articulated fly on it. <laughs> All right, so here's the tricky part. <laughs> See if I can get the boat out there where I want to make a few casts, set it up on the drift, make a few casts before I get blown out of the zone. This is as far up river as I can run at the moment. Pretty shallow around these rocks. I'm gonna get a little closer though, because sometimes you can squeeze through all the way over there on the far right hand side on the other side of that rock it's only a few inches deep and uh, maybe a little wider than the boat maybe not <laughs> but i've made it in the past but uh, today i'm not on that kind of a mission just trying to get out here see if i can catch a few fish these guadalupe bass like to hang in this faster water almost like fishing for trout Maybe a bump, maybe the bottom. A couple more casts back up into that. I'm gonna give this fly a little bit more time. Normally I don't change flies this quickly but this is sort of an experimental fly <laughs> that I've never caught a fish on before. I'm out here like this scouting, kind of like to uh, 
have something proven on as well as uh, fishing some of the spots that I consistently catch fish, which this is not one of them. So I'm not too uh, upset right now that I'm not pulling in fish after fish. All right, this is one of those spots where if I don't catch a fish, something's wrong. Immediately got snagged. All right, <laughs> I'm not skunked. It's a little Guadalupe bass. State fish of Texas, pretty aggressive. Whoo, it's hot. <laughs> I'm sitting here on the playground because it's still 100 degrees in the shade. All right, so today's trip was an overwhelming success because I caught one fish. <laughs> now we say all the time, it's not just about the fish. And today it was, that was definitely the case. I just wanted to see if the fishing was okay. And I'm going to say the fishing's pretty slow right now. Now it probably would have been better had I gotten out earlier. You know, like I said, it's over a hundred degrees right now, but it should have been a little bit better even later in the day. So I'm going to say that stretch is not quite ready, not yet, but it was a successful outing. Got to spend a couple of hours out there by myself. Not another person, not another boat, just some cows and some birds. <laughs> Got to work on my patience because uh, when the wind's blowing, the boat's spinning around in the circle, the current's pushing the boat and you're trying to cast, it can get a little frustrating. Like I said earlier, sometimes I just don't even go out when it's like this, but I went out anyway and I still had a good time. So yes, Today was a success. Thanks for coming along with me. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. If you hated the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs down button two times. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water. Nothing better than turning on the AC in the truck at the end of a long, hot day on the water. <laughs> so it's cooled down now. It's only 97. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> so I always wonder what do people think when they're stuck in rush hour traffic behind me with a boat? I mean, I'm in rush hour traffic, pulling a boat. <laughs>